Good afternoon and welcome to the sanctuary of First Presbyterian Church here in Evansville, Indiana. We're delighted that you've joined us for this service of evening prayer. A reminder that tomorrow at noon, Katie Burke will be here to uh, offer a half hour of music on the organ. We hope that you will join us for that time of music. On Sunday, we will be here on Facebook Live at 8.30 and 10.30 for our Sunday services. We hope you'll join us then as well. And so now we begin our service of evening prayer. I invite you to join me in the call to worship. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths will declare your praise. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within us. Do not cast us away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from us. Restore to us the joy of your salvation, and sustain in us a willing spirit. Our hymn today will sing two verses at the beginning and two verses at the end. A lovely Irish folk tune called Sally Garden, and Rob will play it through for you so that you're reminded of a tune which I'm sure you've heard before. Inspired by love and anger, disturbed by need and pain, informed of God's own bias, we ponder once again. How long must some folks suffer how long can few folk mind? How long dare vain self-interest turn prayer and pity blind? From those forever victims of heartless human their cruel plight composes a litany of greed. There are the fruits of justice. Where are the signs of peace? When is the day when prisoners and dreams find their release. I invite you to place a candle in the center of your worship space this evening. And as we light this candle, among God's people, lighting a candle has always been a symbol of our prayer. As we light our candles tonight, let us pray together. Lord, may this candle which I light illuminate all my difficulties and decisions. May this candle be a fire that burns away all my pride, selfishness, and all my other sins. May this candle be a flame that warms my heart and incites me to love. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Glory and praise to you, Lord of light, perfection of beauty, splendor of majesty, brilliance of wisdom, bright holiness, deep mystery, refining fire. Shine upon us with the radiance of your face and the warmth of your blessing. Let us reflect the light you give and be a light to the nations so that all the earth may know your glory 
To you, O God, we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, as we move into hearing God's word, I invite you to place a Bible in the center of your worship space. Our evening psalm tonight is taken from Psalm 34, and I invite you to read it with me responsively. At all times I will bless the Lord, whose praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord, let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord, let us exalt the name of the Lord together. I sought the Lord who answered me, who delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon the Lord and be radiant, and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses the God-fearing, and the Lord will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in the Lord. Fear the Lord, you holy ones, for those who are God-fearing lack nothing. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who among you loves life and desires long life to enjoy prosperity? Keep your tongue from evil speaking and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. And now as we hear the gospel, I invite you to place a cross in the center of your worship space. And the gospel lesson this evening comes from Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. These sayings we have all been aware of for as long as we can probably remember these teachings that we call the Beatitudes. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. As we move to our time for closing prayer, I invite you to place some flowers or blossom in the center of your worship space. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Jesus Christ, Redeemer, you became like us that we, unpromising raw material that we are, might be saved from despair, might grow in love to be more like you. It is your promises and our hope. So we pray for a world mad with violence, for countries and continents, cities and towns facing extraordinary challenges for individuals hurt or distressed. There are so many. Christ be beside them. Christ be within them. We pray that we might act justly, judging as we would be judged, 
ready to lay aside our own prejudices for the sake of a world, country, and community in which every human matters most. We remember everyone who, in these last days, have suffered violence, insult, injury, or death for their ethnicity, their religion, their gender, their sexual orientation, or just because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. There are so many. Christ be beside them, behind them, before them. We pray that we might love mercy, that our nation might be characterized not for the first for the beauty of its landscapes or the glory of its history, but for its kindness to strangers, its care for its weakest members, its solidarity with people living in want within and beyond its borders. We pray, O Christ, and we remember everyone who in these last days have suffered fear, sickness, anxiety, or bereavement. There are so many. Christ, comfort and restore them. We pray that we might walk humbly with you, in whose eternity empires come and go like leaves on the wind, putting down pride of country, church, or tradition, sensitive to your good creation and our bad stewardship, helping us to live within limits, giving a sense of proportion in all things. We pray, O Christ, and we remember everyone who, in these last days, has found themselves landless or uprooted, whose land is poisoned or degraded or devastated, and those who have lost everything. There are so many. Christ be beneath them, above them, in quiet and in danger. Holy Spirit, sustainer, in the confusion of our times, you are our advocate, speaking to bring clarity. In the anxious complexity of our hearts, you are our friend, inspiring us. Look gently on our fondest dreams of peace for our world. Preserve us from cynicism and sustain us in a living hope, not in our own strength, but in your power to love and bring change to hopeless places. So we pray, O Christ, be in the hearts of all that love us and in the mouths of friends and strangers, today and always, in the name of the triune God, creator, redeemer, and renewer. These and all things we pray in Jesus, who still teaches us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God asks who will go for, for me, who will extend and my reach, and who, when few will listen, will prophesy and preach, and who, when few bid welcome, will offer all they know, and who, when few dare follow, will walk the road I show. Amused in someone's kitchen,
kitchen asleep in someone's boat attuned to what the ancients exposed proclaimed and wrote a savior without safety a tradesman without tools has come to tip the balance with fishermen and fools. Blessed are the peacemakers. In our work, in our lives, in our service to God and neighbor, may we bring the peace, the wholeness, the perfection and beauty of God everywhere we go. And may that peace, beauty, and perfection be glimpsed in us from time to time. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship and companionship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.